Hey there, I'm Angela Sharp and welcome to The Daily Mix. It's great to be back. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and a great weekend and caught up with your friends and your family and all that wonderful stuff that goes with that. But I'm so happy to be right back here with The Daily Mix. Now something very exciting happened for me over our little break. So my sister was pregnant and when she told me originally she was pregnant, she was like, I'm not sure if you're gonna be happy or mad. And I was like, why would I be mad? And she goes, well, the baby's due on November 27th. That's my birthday. So this whole nine months I've been going, my sister's giving me a baby for my birthday. She didn't give me a baby for my birthday, no. That little nugget waited around a while, but he was born on December 1st. I've been calling him Baby Angelo since I'm Angela. That's not actually his name, but there he is right there. That is baby Caleb. So I would like to congratulate my sister Lindsay Lee and her husband Kevin on the adorable little guy. I haven't actually seen him in real life yet. My sister lives in Maine. So I'm gonna make that travel over the holiday so we can get to see him in person. And I'm so excited because you guys know I love babies. You know what else I love? I love live music. And later on in the show, we're gonna have Jimmy Griffin with El Monstero on. He is gonna tell us everything about El Monstero. Now, if you are living underneath a rock, it's like an awesome Pink Floyd tribute band, but there's so much more to it. So we're gonna let Jimmy tell us everything they've got going on. And I know they've got a bunch of shows and only one still has tickets remaining. So we're gonna find it all out in just a little bit. Let's get started with today's Daily Mix. of St. Louis has officially launched winter operations to help support our unhoused neighbors. In addition to increasing shelter beds, the city's Department of Human Services has ensured that all shelters funded through the city will remain open 24-7 throughout the winter months. They'll also be offering wraparound services to address additional needs. The winter response operations will continue through March 31st. Anyone in need of shelter or those who would like to offer support are encouraged to contact United Way 211 or visit the city's website for more information. Slate Missouri Job Center's second annual Holly Jolly Holiday Hiring Fair continues this month. You still have two chances left to connect with employers who are looking to hire new talent for both seasonal and permanent employment. The job fair is being held in the first floor conference rooms at 1520 Market Street on December 8th and December 16th from 9 to 12 both days. For more information, visit stlworks.com. Local fashion designer Brandon Vaughn is once again teaming up with Black Men Build to give out at least 100 new coats to area youth. People in the community have been donating coats at his storefront on Cherokee Street and this Saturday, several local businesses will join the effort and provide services as the coats are handed out at the third annual coat drive. The event will run from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Love Bank Park at the corner of Jefferson and Cherokee Street. For more information, you can follow Brandon Vaughn Collection on Facebook and Instagram. Festive fun awaits this weekend at Winter Celebrations, inspired by holiday traditions from around the world. This free, family-friendly festival features a variety of performances by community groups, art activities, a scavenger hunt, and more. The two-day event will take place this Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 4 both days at the St. Louis Art Museum in Forest Park. No tickets or reservations are required. You can learn more slam, S-L-A-M, dot org. This weekend, you can also enjoy a magnificent concert of Italian and American holiday classics at the Benedita Orsi and Friends fourth annual Christmas concert. This concert is featuring several international artists, will also mark the 35th anniversary of the founding of the St. Louis Bologna Sisters Cities. The Christmas concert will be held this Saturday night at the Old Cathedral. 
Tickets are available on Eventbrite. You can also learn more at stlouisitalians.com. Santa Claus is coming to town. I really should not sing, but he is coming to town and he's making a stop at the Magic House. Hop aboard the sleigh and the Jingle Bell Pavilion and hand deliver your letter to Santa. Now, be sure to bring a camera so you can snap a pic and then enjoy a sweet treat from one of Santa's helpers. Visits with Santa can be made from one to five, Friday through Sunday through December 18th. Reservations also include admission to the Gingerbread Village. I love that giant gingerbread man, it's so cute. Now you can also head on over to their satellite location, made for kids, this Friday and enjoy cocoa and cookies with Santa. You can take photos with Coco Santa and Mrs. Claus, create one of a kind gifts and more. Coco and cookies with Santa will run from five to 8 p.m. To learn more about their Santa visits and all the holiday fun they have going on at that Magic House, visit magichouse.org. You guys know I love Christmas and I absolutely love Santa, but you can also catch up with the big guy himself at the National Museum of Transportation. Santa will be there this Saturday and next weekend, and he'll even be joined by his reindeer on both Saturdays. Yeah, the reindeer are gonna be there. Now that's just one of the ways they're keeping happiness on track this season. Now while you're there, you can also catch a ride on the Holly Jolly Trolley. Check out their holiday train displays. They have the largest indoor display in the region and so much more. You can find a list of all the holiday activities they are offering all month long at tnmot.org. Now, if that's still not enough Santa Claus for you, and it's never enough Santa Claus, then how about Scuba Claus? Santa has his waterproof naughty and nice list, and he's diving into the festive season in Shark Cannon at the St. Louis Aquarium. How amazing is this? Like, that's Santa in a shark tank, right? This is awesome. Now, this dive show is sure to be one of the most unique visits with Santa you'll ever find. Kids can ask diving Santa and his elf questions, take pictures, and more and it's all included with general emission. You can catch him on the weekends through Christmas Eve. I love this, you can catch him up all the way through Christmas Eve, that's amazing. You can find a full schedule and all the details at stlouisaquarium.com. Now you guys know I love Santa Claus. I absolutely love Santa Claus. And up until this point in my life, I would say my favorite holiday movie was Die Hard, but that has all changed now. There's a brand new movie out. It is so awesome, you are gonna love it. I loved it, my dad loved it, and I think we might even go see it again before Christmas starts. First, let me show you a little, little taste of Violent Night. You ain't driving, are you? I steer a little, but the ranger do my sword. <laughs> this is my fourth year at the center. How about you? I started the whole damn thing. We decided that you could have one gift. Early. What is it? That is a direct hotline to Santa Claus himself. I can talk to Santa? All right, revelers. Welcome to your worst Christmas ever. Let's go! You have $300 million in your personal vault. That's what I want for Christmas. <laughs> I don't want any trouble, okay? Something's gonna scooch up that chimney. <laughs> Who is he? Because he's not your typical mall Santa. Santa, are you there? Daddy said you were very busy tonight. My name is Trudy Lightstone. Like so. Are you gonna help us, Santa? Yeah, Trudy. Santa? No, my nice list. Santa Claus is coming to town. Time for some season's beatings. No! Who the hell are you? Boss, what if he really is the There's real? No 
such thing as Santa. Yeah! These bad men, they're all on my naughty list. Naughty. That's naughty! And what do you do to the naughty ones? I give them a lump of coal. Where is it? I gotta watch. Ah! I believe in you, Santa. Come on. Which one of you did that? Prancer? <laughs> so unprofessional. Do you see what I mean? It's a way you've seen, never seen Santa before, right? If you like action movies, if you like gory, obviously there's some funny because Santa's doing some of this killing. It's amazing. But we have moved right along here. I have my guest, Jimmy Griffin with El Monstero here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Okay, now I mentioned at the top of the show, if somebody lives underneath a rock, right. they have not heard of El Monstero, but I think everybody in St. Louis has. But let's kind of talk about El Monstero, where it started. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not one of the original members, but it started in 1999. But you, you nice. said you were one of the newer members, and how many years have you been there? Uh, I started in 2006, and my math is terrible. Okay. So however many years However many years is. that is, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. they started back in the day. Yeah, it started as a side project from a local band called Stir, who was in between records, couldn't play uh, as, as them until they got another record finished. So they had a cover band called El Monstero y Los Masked Avengers, and they would wear masks so people wouldn't know who so they were. So wouldn't I who they were, right. okay. And then they began to play uh, the last, the third set of the night would be Pink Floyd songs. And they recruited Mark Quinn, who's been in it the whole time, and uh, he would play with them, you know, at cover gigs and stuff. And they're like, what if we just did a whole set of Pink Floyd songs? And that was 1999, it was at Mississippi Nights first year, and and uh, again, I wasn't there, but I heard it was really good. It's really cool. <laughs> well, it's not just a Pink Floyd tribute either. Right. There's so much more going on. There's kind of a show, Yes. almost yeah. Vegas style show, if you will, that yeah. goes along with this. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of uh, Barnum and Bailey, and um, there's girls hanging from the ceiling, and. Uh, uh, fireworks and every other kind of thing you could we always say it's the the Midwestern monster truck version of Pink Floyd Midwestern you know? monster truck version of Pink Floyd okay yeah. I can get on board with if that Pink Floyd had seen a kiss concert before they started this, there you go yeah. that's what this is right right and people absolutely love El Monstero I mean there mm -hmm. is a cult following of fans that really want to come to these shows mm -hmm. in fact you started off with a couple shows and then you added, now I think you have a total of seven, mm -hmm. and all but one is sold out. Yeah, we just released a last, uh, this is show on the 30th that we just released last week, and that only has about 300 tickets left, but the other six shows are all sold out, so. Um, we, this has been a generational, like, being in it this long, we have grown-ups now bringing their kids to the shows because their parents brought them to the shows when they were oh, wow. 12 or 13. So it's, it's, it's like kind of, it continues to grow and, and just kind of become part of the St. Louis Christmas kind of tradition. Thing. Yeah. It's something it's, that happens every year, you can depend on it and we'll always be there playing Pink Floyd songs. Kind of start your <laughs> holiday off with a little Pink Floyd fun, right? Exactly. Now, you are the lead guitar, one of the lead guitarists, and right. you have seen lead vocals on a uh -huh. number of songs. Right. So when you guys are practicing for this, because I know you have mm -hmm. outside bands of your own that mm -hmm. you kind of work on, do you, how long does it take to kind of get everything together, get everybody in on this? We usually start the week of, depends on where Thanksgiving falls, the week of or the week after, and then we rehearse like really hard, uh, probably about seven or eight, to 10 rehearsals before. Now we've been doing it for a long time, so it's it, it takes a little bit of to get back. Um, but mainly it's the mechanics of it, of not thinking about what you're doing while fire is shooting over your head <laughs> or there's a person hanging from the ceiling. Like those are all the kinds of things that take you out of your that's the first thing we learned is don't look at the aerialist because then you're like, per -der, per -der, and you're right. playing clams. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Now, do you, are you, since you're one of the lead vocalists, are, do, are you using, I know I see a lot of rock stars using the prompters to kind of help along. I don't. You don't use a prompter? No. no. I love that about you. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, very I think, cool. I think if you, and, and anybody will tell you this that's, that's a singer, if, 
if you're reading, you're singing the words different than, if you actually know a song, you sing it differently. Differently than, than, the, than if it's coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you take, I take the, I drive around in my car and fast forward, back, fast forward, and you just get it in your head so that it, it I think you can spit it out better and, and it sounds more realistic, I think. And that's kind yeah. of what those El Monstero Pink Floyd fans are coming to hear, right? Right, right, right. And and it's and if I do have a cheat sheet, it's like the first word of something. Okay, you know? right. So yeah. instead of like having to try and do that. To follow it along. And I you know, I can see getting older and it'd be a little harder to, you know, but I can never just have scrolling words. words. That would be weird, yeah, yeah. That would be weird. Now you've been kind of in the rock and roll industry for a while. Yes. So when did you know that music was your thing? Uh, I was 12. Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, so I, I started playing professionally when I was 17. Holy um, cow. Yeah, and I've been doing it ever ever since. And it, I w was in a band uh, that was around here called Broken Toys or King of the Hill, and we were on MTV and had a record deal when I was 22 years old. And then that ended, and that's when you have to make that decision of like, am I just in this to get to the thing I just did, or do I just want to... Do I love playing music? And that's right. that's when you have to kind of redefine where you're coming from, you know. Making and money and entertaining fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, and and just enjoying what you do and and loving it. And I, there's a part of us that's still 15 year old boys and girls when we're doing this because that's what made you want to do it in the first, first place, place, you know. And getting to play the pageant and having a bunch of people show up and blow up stuff and play loud is. If I was 15, I would have said, sign me up. I was going to say, <laughs> it's an, an amazing show. If, if you haven't been to see El Monstero, you really need to see it. I think I had mentioned a couple years ago when somebody from El Monstero first came on that I wasn't really familiar with Pink Floyd, and they're like, just come. And they were not wrong because the show itself right. is amazing. Yeah. And then, of course, now I've gotten more into the Pink Floyd yeah. music, and it all makes sense. It's but one of those things you you don't realize how many of the songs you know. For the casual yes, fan, you're correct. like, oh, I've, I've heard Oh, this. I know yeah, this yeah, one. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we've been talking all um, afternoon here with the food here in front of us. Right. So you guys are playing at the pageant. Right. And on nights of your concert, you have kind of a deal with uh, Mission Taco on the loop there. Yes. So yes. kind of walk me through how this works. Um, I think a, a portion of the sales of this goes to the Jeff Burton uh, yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. So if you go to that Mission Taco and order the El Monstero, which is what we have right here, mm -hmm. I, they're going to give a portion of those proceeds on those nights to the Jeff Burton. Jeff Burton was on 1057 The Point. Yes. Loved radio DJ. So to Much support beloved. Yeah. His yeah. Uh, family after his passing. So mm -hmm. we have here some of the food. Are you willing to take a bite with me? <laughs> sure, sure. All right. Happy breakfast. Okay, okay, we're gonna have a... This is a lot of pork, right? I mean, we got some, this is a good, like, I don't know if you can see this, but we got some, we got some really good... Is there's like... Is the, look at this, you can see the layers in there. Like, that's good, right? You ready? Three Little Piggies, right, is what this is called? I think it's the El Monstero Three Little Piggies. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then That's nobody why talks don't for eat like five on TV. minutes. Because <laughs> you never want to eat on camera. But right. we did. It's really good. This is actually really, really good. Mm. So you can kind of make a whole date night of it. On these days, I'm still eating. Wow. <laughs> on these days that you have a concert, uh -huh. they can go. People can go go over there to Mission Taco, mm -hmm. grab an El Monstero Three Little Piggy, yeah, eat it. You know, some of that money goes to Jefford, and then go down the street to the pageant and watch you guys in live action. Exactly. Yes. And you're ready for it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, can you tell everybody where, the, I know very few tickets left. Can you tell everybody right. where they can find these very few tickets? Uh, yeah, Ticketmaster or my favorite way is just go to the pageant box office um, and get you around to all those pesky fees. Just bring ah, cash. There bring you cash. go. You're um, kinda, I like it. You're telling yes. people the secrets. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, the only show that's left is, um, is the 1230, the Friday the 30th. Friday the 30th, yep, because you have shows the 16th, 17th, 18th, 21, 22, and 23. Those are already sold out. Uh -huh. So that seventh show, and there's very, very limited tickets left. So you can also go to elmonstero.com, and you can find out information there. I'll be at the show on the 22nd. So we'll I, I will play see, good that I night. I will see then. you there. I think you're going to play good every <laughs> night, right? Yeah. Is there one song in particular that you just really love to play? Um, there's a bunch of them I like 
uh, Time is a favorite, and uh, Hey You I like because I get to play a big whopping guitar solo. So it's a guitar. I was going to say, all those guitarists really like that guitar solo, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, you're in a couple other bands as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You wanna, yeah. you, I mean, we can plug you a little bit, too. Sure, you want sure. To? Um, Celebration Day will be the next thing I do is a Led Zeppelin thing with a couple of the guys from Elmo. Uh, that'll be at the pageant the last weekend of... Uh, February, okay. and we just did a show two weeks ago with my other band, The Hard Promises, which is a Tom Petty thing. Oh, I love this, okay. You should come see that band. I it's love really a Tom Petty, okay. Yeah. So where can people keep along and follow along with you yourself? Uh, do you I have, have your own? Yeah, I have a Facebook thing, or there's a, there's a um, all these bands have Facebook pages, pretty much, yeah. And I'm Jimmy Griffin, and you can look me up, and I'm there. Look him up <laughs> and follow along, and definitely check out Ella Monstero if you have not already. It's an excellent show. That's going to do it for us right here. But after you follow Jimmy, and then after you follow El Monstero, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can drop us a line at the Daily Mix at stltv.net. You can also see past shows on our YouTube channel. That's going to do it for us. I'll see you next time. Keep it right here on STL TV and Experience St. Louis.